We got two seconds, Strife Pro. Okay. We're on. Welcome back, guys. We just saw the first match. Um, it was a pretty good match. What it, was, do you think? it was pretty good. Uh, I think I think we got unlucky. How do you feel about uh, like you know the, the the teammates consolation prize? Do you think it's appropriately sized? Oh, definitely. I think it's cool. Uh, it's nice to get everyone into the game instead yeah. of just you know I'm out. The top four. Yeah. I mean, Are the other I, ones I think, like, A lot of a lot of tournaments uh, they lose like you know your your tournament wants to climax at the end, right? Yeah. So. And a lot of tournaments, what happens is as people drop out, it gets like less people. So it turns out that finals is not that exciting because everyone's like kind of done already. And yeah, most players end up being yeah, kind of yeah, exactly. just they just watch it's and talk. Cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Whereas here, everybody's involved in a deck building, the deck mm -hmm. piloting. So Trump and Orange, I would say, are the the two most determined players to win this. Mm -hmm. Like they, Orange is definitely. Um, Highly competitive. Like, yeah. I hadn't realized how much he would care about, yeah. you know, more of a laid-back event. But he's been doing uh, yeah. his best. And Trump, well, you know the guy. You know? Yeah. Trump. <laughs> it's, it's just Trump. Trump is that value, there's, right? Uh, there's there's, little... there's always more value in winning than losing, so <laughs> naturally Trump wants. Uh, That's how he lives his life, yeah. basically. So it turns out Agro Shaman Trump is also a pretty good deck in this format. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't lose too much. The uh, the first place got to pick whatever they wanted, right? Out of the uh, the picks, mm -hmm. two decks they got to pick. Uh, in this case, they went with I think Shaman and Priest. I actually like Shaman in this uh, in this format because Shaman doesn't actually have a lot of minions that are the same yeah. toughness and health. In fact, I can't think of any. That's what I was telling uh, Rekful yeah. earlier, right? Like it's probably one of the classes that just. Like you play three fours on three because they're good. Mm -hmm. They play totem golem on two, and you're out of it because you can't just develop better minions on three and four. Oh yeah. So a lot of the minions that you play in shaman probably aren't weak to too much, but this is a matchup where you know shaman was kind of built to beat the new paladin lists that were trying to run secrets. But being the challenger is not playable, it's going to be more of a highly aggressive pally. We're going to see a ton of abusive sardines and lepernomes. Definitely. Uh, so there's going to kind of be some... Chalky is the Shaman, right? So yeah, yeah. Chalky, he has to either... Chalky is the Paladin player. Trump is playing Shaman right now. Okay, so Trump has to either, you know, be mana inefficient here and just Rockbiter or Lightning Bolt, or otherwise he has to... You go for Flame Juggler. <laughs> yeah, do you ever worry that... Because uh, if you play Totem Golem, um, do you ever worry... Because there's no muster coming out, right? Like, th there's no mini bot as well. So the worst case scenario would be what flame juggler slash creeper. Yeah, um, it's actually the more thing. About it, there's no, there's no way I ever play a spell here. Uh, I can go for fifty fifty juggler, or I can go for totem golem. And even if you miss, since there's no muster on this turn, then you know what's the worst that can really happen? Even if juggler survives. Right, right? since there's so, no mini bot either. Yeah. Well, that's that could get really bad. We'll have to see what comes out. But if the like if the trade from the juggler goes into the Finley and then the flame juggler hits the 2-2 then you know you're forcing a trade either way and you're head on board at that point yeah missing is a big deal but I would still take the miss over as uh, playing a spell there yeah could you play haunted creeper uh, I think that because you probably will get traded into regardless with both minions, right? If you kill the Finley, yeah, I, I, I kind of. It's interesting, right? Yeah, it's it's definitely interesting because there's no no there's not a huge incentive to play Hana Creeper here over Flame Juggler because there's no real spells that's gonna come out to kill Flame Juggler uh, for Shaman. I I guess for the most part, uh, and it just does more damage um, for the most part. Yeah, but the only down guess... the only upside I guess is Creeper doesn't get punished as much by Totem Golem, but Earthshock punishes it more. So, oh, this is actually a great turn for Trump. Picks up a way to trade up, like, up, and also develop the, uh... Yeah, I mean, abusive, you can abusive the 2-3 and then just kill Juggler with the spell. Yeah. But that's kind of mana inefficient, and you don't get to develop a Totem Golem. Uh, so spell plus Golem would be your And also, there's, there's... I mean, leaving a 2-1, the problem is that Mustard for Battle is a big part of the range on turn 3. So, um, we didn't really talk about it, but, like, they took the Priest Hero Power instead of Life Tap? Oh. Okay, Trump actually goes for a play where he leaves up both 2-3s instead of just trading off the whole board. Uh, as is for what happens for Trump here, it turns out a little bit better for him. It's just weak to muster battle the way he played. 
Right. Well, we were talking about the, the you know the juggler ping mattering a little bit because you get better trades earlier. Mm -hmm. This is pretty much the scenario where if the juggler from Trump had been at two health, it would have been a really big deal, and it would have probably affected the way he played the turn. Uh, but given that he got it to live, he can actually extract a ton of value out of that hero power now. Like the priest hero power with the high health minions oh, is ridiculous. That's true. Um, uh, like it, it is pretty silly yeah. that, it, that this is even happening. Part of this is as the shaman, you need to decide a point in the game where you kind of stop trading goal face. Yeah. Uh, and this seems like a little bit too early to do that, especially with this hand uh, and the priest here power. I kind of expect Trump to. What to do? I actually kind of expect Trump to just heal his guy and just go face. Okay. <laughs> but, like, but like, at least, like, okay, sure. I'm like, okay, so heal and then double trade, but then, you know, consecration punishes you a lot. Like, a lot. Consecration is a nightmare. Mustard for battle is a nightmare. So it's either you play two minions and go face or heal and go face. One or the other. Um, but, you know, consecration here, if Shocky plays it, would be insane. That was a weird trade. <laughs> It was probably the weirdest of them because right now the juggler with the trade and the yeah. creeper popping gives oh him God, probably juggler. a perfect board. That's uh, that's three pings this turn. Yeah, no, it is. It is a plus the damage from the creeper, of course, which will uh, likely, you know, clean up everything down to two minions. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. It, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. But we already saw one juggler, right? Do you play around the second one if you're Trump? No. I don't think that's necessarily correct. Yeah, can't break power and everything. Well, the priest hero power is uh, <laughs> okay. not doing much. Shocky's laughing. This is, I think it's pretty much. Do not say that. There are no cards. Divine favor is a dead card, and Earth Shock would negate Blessing of Kings. <coughs> okay. It doesn't take much, right, bro? Yeah. All it takes. I mean, Doomhammer is 16 damage, right? And Lepronims too, so yeah. pretty much is lethal. If <laughs> with one card. <laughs> that sounds balanced. Oh, that, however, will complicate things. Yeah. Little Shredder guy. Yeah. Well. I, I like this trade. I'd probably Shredder over Kings just because of a shock. I mean, you're you're getting the same amount of, kind of the same amount of damage either way because Kings, like, over two turns are getting the same amount of yeah. damage. Right. Dr. Unless Shredder. Unless follow immediately. But. Crackle? Probably just wait to use it. I mean, the priest hero power is buying Trump uh, a weird amount of time here. It's surprising. Yeah. At this point, I would... I mean, it depends. Like, because King over two turns, Shredder and Kings is the same damage. If you play Kings first, you play Shredder the next turn. The next turn. Doesn't charge, right? right. So, but then, is, this is getting to the point where you just maybe just... It's too close. You are forcing again the same, like the yeah. Earth Shock, if it comes yeah. out. And if it comes out, then that means he's probably not going to be having any more answers. So this is looking to me like a Hail Mary turn for Trump. Unless he picks up something crazy like Elemental Destruction. He needs to uh, Doom Serious. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a Hail Mary. There's really nothing else. Um, Alright, so here it comes Doom Serious. At least Crackle is guaranteed to kill this. And nope. That is... That is a River Crackle is. He's not dead, technically. Yeah. <laughs> On paper, he lives. Still... I mean, the fact that he has zero cards in hand makes this uh, divine favor Just really awkward. Favor. Uh, oh, that's a, that's oh, that's not a misplay. He doesn't want to play the shredder for the uh, for the doomsayer. doomsayer. Yeah, he's like, you know what? The only way I lose if the doomsayer comes out of this. Yeah, it's uh, gone to this point. <laughs> uh, that is amusing. And rock glider will, however, not do much. Um, okay, so Ebola didn't take it. Can we call it Ebola then? Yeah. Are you Ebola offended? is actually very good against Face Shaman. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like Zoo. Face Shaman's pretty good at rushing down slow decks because you give him a lot of time to, like, just ancestral knowledge and Doom Hammer. But against these fast decks, like, I think the worst matchup for Face Shaman is actually Zoo. And it's got to be one of the toughest similar. ones, yeah. And this this deck is very similar to Zoo, right? It's like Pal and Zoo, so. I mean, the fact that Divine Shield is, uh, I mean, the mini bot not being there, yeah, however, is a yeah. really big deal. Yeah. Um, but the fact that you can just probably punish some of the more mid-rangey decks. Yeah. So now we have a Priest on Trump. And uh, Shaman on Shaki, which has the Tunnel Trog in the opening hand. Trump with the Light Bomb, Nova, Cleric. I, would you keep uh, here, everything would, but Light Bomb? I would I would not keep Holy Nova. Really? Okay. Especially with North Shore opening. Uh, you want to go for a lot of times with the Velen's Chosen a lot. 
Sure. Uh, or a power shield, something like that. I might even consider dropping Acolyte against a Shaman. shaman because, because three because damage very, is very really fast. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Nochar is the only <coughs> prime card. I thought Nova was actually acceptable because you very often end up needing it, but this he has is a chosen. much better start. Now he has the Villains Chosen, and this is what you always want as Priest, right? One drop into Coin Villains Chosen. If you're one drop and survive, which we know it's not. But. You might play two one drops if you want to guarantee that uh, you, don't, you don't get pushed out by one Bolt or one Rock Biter. Mm. Um, but the payoff is actually pretty small. Yeah, I would definitely save it, especially drawing Acolyte. If you get Rock Biter here, uh, probably just coin out the at that point. Yeah, and the Doomhammer as well is not going to yeah. be a big problem. See if even you can if get you, that out. If you coin two one drops, and even if you just rock fighters one, you're not going to be able to build shows in the other one anyways. I guess. Right. It's, a, it's just like you get card draw yeah. the Northshire, and that's yeah. about it. If it let if it lives, yeah. which it likely doesn't. So. The acolyte is looking pretty tempting because you only get punished by uh, Feral Spirit. Yeah, and, he might uh, actually go for lava burst. He might actually just go for Northshire cleric because they're on board. It's equal. They're both one threes. And you keep the coin. Uh, and you keep the coin with Cabal. Let's oh my see. god! Back to back, <laughs> back to back Cabal five six. Yeah, maybe it's a little too slow. I don't know. It's an interesting uh, consideration because now if you're Shaki, you don't want to let the acolyte draw more than one, so you have to attack into it, which mitigates damage for now. And that sets up a Nova if you pick one up in Trump's position. Yeah. Trump needs to pick up some board clear. I mean, there's... Oh, so now he has Soul Priest. That's going to be his best bet. Here. Northshire, heal the Trog. Find that uh, that circle of healing. That's the only play I could see, because healing yourself doesn't I do very much. Wow, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, like if you heal your own He's face, I don't think... He's uh, Doomhammer found an answer! But it's not there, so... Yeah, looking, looking. Well, I mean, this is looking bad for Trump, but we know he's just one circle away from one circle. Almost, I, I almost want to say one Nova. Like he's not that far off because Nova, I think Nova might be a little bit too slow. It depends what what happens with this Trog, right? Like, mm -hmm. what do you do here if you're Chalky? Do you kill the Northshire? If so, how? Do you trade Lepernome? Goodness. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Nova's fine. You don't care. Yeah. Now that he healed. Yeah. I lied. I actually think, okay, so I think if he gets the circle this turn, he could probably stabilize, but starting from the next turn, it might just be too late, because after taking all this damage in, I'm assuming that Feral Spirit's going down for the 5 attack. Shadow or Death can kill it, but you're probably it's, in... Uh, I mean, you can Death and then Cabal the Wolf, and then Cabal the Wolf, but... Um, I during think all this time, Shaman's doing it, stuff too. They, they are drawing, right? So. They, they are playing cards, they're drawing, they're dealing damage to you, so... Doesn't even play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh no, it's the the last bastion of defense is the Sakana. He's like, yeah, if I don't top deck. Okay. Excavated evil. What if it's there? Maybe. What if? I think he's still trying to get the circle for next turn at this point, I guess. Yeah. Shaki knows that there's no uh, there's no circle with Akana. It would have been played. Nova is not that big of a deal. You've got so many three health minions. Yeah. So now it's all about how you can serve this board. I can see Chalky playing potentially 2-1 drops instead of Feral Spirits. I'm not sure. So 2-1 drops. I mean, I, I might Totem to get spell damage. Why not? Uh, as a setup. And if Nova hits, then I play Feral Spirit to buff the Trog. Because if I play Feral Spirit here and there's no, there's nothing else, then Death at least gives like is a usable card. Yeah. So yeah, Enabling Death may not be something you want to do. Oh, spell damage. Frogs feel pretty, uh, <coughs> pretty he just, broken here. Yeah, he just wants to have some kind of plays after a board clear, potentially. Right. So if he gets cleared, he can still play Feral Spirit stuff in there. That is not a circle from Trump's reaction. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, sad boys. Uh, that is a pretty miserable, like, priest match. For a matchup it's supposed to be fine against, Deathlord is even playable in this format. Yeah, I think we did have Deathlord in this match. Right. Um, well, I mean, he's going to have to win with that afterwards. Yeah. Can't feel good. And people love Deathlord and Priest, especially with Entomb and Light Bomb and Villains Chosen. Yeah, what it's a great, course. great card. I mean, the thing is, like, what I love about Deathlord is what it does for the meta. 
what I hate about it is facing it when it's like Valen's chosen. It's such a feel bad <laughs> no, card, that's, right? That's like, how you get it's such Egypt, a yeah. feel bad so many card. Decks you get you get Death or Valen's chosen, and then you're just like beating on this four twelve the whole game. And, and if, just keep if, if you silence it, you're like, I haven't solved anything. Like I'm still dealing yeah. with the two A that the priest keeps up. Uh, forever. So it's going to be the zoo from Shockey against Trump's entire lineup at this point. Trump has to win with everything against Shockey's last deck, and it's going to be zoo. So it seems like people are mostly running doing var variations of zoo since Sea Giant has gone uh, from this format. Shockey has double shredder as well. Uh, that's kind of unusual, but you know we need we, he does need to play some cards. Void like, callers, where are like they must be in there, right? Yeah, they have to. Like you, you can't use. Uh, What's the card? Peddler, Boom. Yeah, you, you can't Peddler and Boom are gone, so that's a big deal. He keeps one Shredder against the Priest. That's a very good hand there. Shocky knows how to mulligan just right. Keeping a Shredder is actually pretty smart because oh, some map types with the coin, you'd want to keep two Shredders, but again, Z, you want to curve out early and uh, you have a lot of four drops with double implosion as well. And, that's right. Uh, so, like, keeping one Shredder is a good compromise. You, you get the coin Shredder a lot and Shredder's so good against Priest. Being a four attack minion. Yeah, and the hand that he picked up actually <coughs> lets him do that. Now, Trump found the zombie chat off the top, has the power of shield to keep it alive, and the death lore. So Shockey is going to have a lot of trouble going through the, the minions. And I think one villain's chosen would be sufficient because what Circle of Healing does in this matchup is just like an early game heal. By Like on turn three or four, you heal something that you have if you're already ahead on board, and they never go through it. Uh, it's either that or you clear with Akanai later, but very often you can just heal a Deathlord back It's very home. safe play by Chalky. Uh, he decided to make this play so that he doesn't get blown out by something like a Power Shield on the Flame Imp. Yeah. Uh, this will basically give him a power overwhelming target to clear the early minions here. Because, well, <laughs> maybe not. You might do it though, right? Would you do it? I mean, the, the Flame Juggler kind of works in a similar manner. If if you hit, of course. And There's like, no way he's playing PO here. I think he's yeah. definitely playing Flame Juggler. I feel like even if you get Villains Chosen here, uh, you still have the PO for that. You might Flame Imp, actually. Just Flame Imp and Pass. Flame Imp and Pass and then Flame Juggler? Like, what, what, is it, what, what does it lose to that it didn't before? I guess the only thing is, like, Wild Power Power Chill in this case is going to be devastating. Um, it's just Juggler has a chance of killing. I feel like you have to get rid of this before Velen's Chosen comes out. But Flame Juggler dies to Velen's and then you can PO and play Flame Imp or Tap. Oh, uh, unfortunate. Uh oh. The Assassin, the board is gone. Goodbye, Shocky. This is gonna be crazy, yeah. Pyro Power Shield clears the. Oh my, oh my god! god. No, you, you can do it. You... This is insane! Can you do it? Yeah, okay, you play you... Wild Power Northshire, then you, you just. Oh, you're missing a spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, so you just play Death Lord then. You play Death Lord. No, 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 no. You play Pyromancer, Power Shield on a 2 3 trade. Next turn, you go for. Wow. No, you, you just Death Lord here every day. You Death Lord every day and you just draw 50 cards on turn 4. This is so insane. What a roadblock. What yeah, I'm really block. surprised that play because he gets, he gets to clear the entire board the other way and still gets to set this up. Uh, he's basically. This is pretty safe, but if Chalky had uh, like an abusive as well as a PO, he could actually get through. Yeah, that's a very specific combination, but it happens, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's not unheard of. Look at the turn the Trump's gonna have! Can you even believe this? He's gonna pop the creeper. Oh man. Yeah, there's so much value here from the Pyromancer. <laughs> and how many cards is he going to oh, get from this circle pyro? I don't even... It's going to be a lot of cards. Yeah, but Shocky right now is like, alright, am I dead? I think he's going to get three cards. I think Shocky just four. concedes. Unless he wants to get information, right? Maybe five, actually. <laughs> no, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. So what do you... You power shield, shield the flame juggler, obviously, right? For more card draws, it never dies. Ugh... <laughs> uh. This is amazing. Five cards. Is that a miss? And he might pick up another circle. I think I would have trade first and then. Um, I guess you get a card. You get a card draw and you can okay. keep the Death Lord very healthy. I actually don't think of that. I mean, not, <laughs> I was going to say, like, it might be a slight misplace, Red okay, Crow. But then, like, how many times out of, like, 100 does it really matter? Yeah. Shocker right now is like, yeah, if Shredder carries, maybe. 
Uh, no. <laughs> Sh not. Shockey basically no. Like it's in these spots, Shockey concedes very often. Mm -hmm. So he could have saved the Shredder tech from Trump. You just yeah. don't even show the <laughs> <He's just> Shredder. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, he no, nice job. He's not showing. Yeah. And, That's uh, pretty smart. I like it. Yeah. Because Shredder is not exactly something you always expect in Zoo, and he has Shredder in his Zoo. Uh, even even if this format is good. Uh, you know, not everyone thinks about what could be in every deck, so yeah. you can surprise him with the Shredder. So there's a Rogue left and a Shaman for Trump. Shaman against Zoo is going to be a bit tricky, um, yeah. given that he's trying to play aggro. Technically, like in some some in, uh, like instances, it's, it's amazing, uh, because it gets the... Well, with a hand like this, it might just be amazing. But if you get thrown off the board and you can't clear it, then it gets yeah, difficult I mean, I find times. awesome times that... It, it almost doesn't even matter what Shaman's opening is. If Zoo has a good enough opening, they'll kind of just blow you out. Because yeah. there's no opening that's possible that can really contest Death Rattles into uh, into buff minions, right? Like abuse and power run. Because, right. Because you can't just nuke the Death Rattles like eggs. You can't just kill them for the most part. Yeah, and you, you almost don't part. want to bother. I've seen a few yeah. people try, but every time it's like they end up missing out on, what, five to six damage to face to win? And so you kind of go all in on these hopeful. Yeah. Uh, Basically, if you have death row openings into buffs, uh, there's not really a lot of counterplay you can have with the Shaman deck. Yeah, but this fire blast is good. It's going to help clean up uh, a lot of the things that a uh, zoo player might want to do. I'm sure you'd prefer life tap. It depends what the deck consists of, though. Like we don't know what is in Trump's deck exactly. The rogue left, if the shaman takes it, is going to be something of a coin flip, depending on how proficient. Trump feels with the deck list. Him and his partner, of course. Mm -hmm. Orange. Uh, I, I, I think Orange is a... Like, plays more rogue than Trump. Orange definitely plays more rogue than Trump. There's literally no Trump rogue highlight that I can recall. I don't I don't think I ever, ever remember playing, like, uh, seeing Trump play rogue. Yeah. It, it seems a little bit out of character. Yeah. Hmm. See his decision between rock biting this, because that'll kind of protect his lepernum from the one ones or the two ones, uh, or just playing out both minions here. I like Tunnel Frog here, just because the way that it works is if there's an abusive, he's got to pick what he wants to do with it, right? You were talking about how difficult it is to beat a buff opener mm -hmm. as Shaman, and this is exactly what it plays around. Uh, you're forcing the opponent to have the abusive and a one drop, and you can ping the abusive, which you're very happy with. Uh, and if it isn't there, then you're, you know, more than happy with it. Okay. Might look like an overreaction, but we know better. Yeah. There's not, <laughs> there's not very many power roaming targets in yeah. Shaman. Uh, like, the biggest minions are going to get her three or four anyways. And, yeah. I mean, you definitely want to... What? Wow. Unbelievable! That's actually a way where he can actually, you know... Do really good here. That's a good draw as well for Shocky though. He's got the 50-50 on Flame Juggler. Does he win the flip? He wins the flip. Well done. What an insane flip you on there. Yeah, it's the best target. Doesn't get much better it's than huge, this. It's huge, yeah. And the defensive Argus on the back of this. Yeah, because I was gonna say like he actually went for a play right Oh man, do we do we do it again? Do we just 50-50 that Flame Imp? Do we trade into the two-three, and then 50-50 the Flame Imp? Or do we just try to 50-50 first? Uh, I, I would trade into 2-3 first. Okay. Hmm. Let's do this. You feeling it, Stripe Pro? Do I'm you feeling feel it. You're, you're feeling <laughs> <laughs> Stripe Pro stared like mm -hmm. blankly at the screen. Oh, I, I wish we had a cam on you on that, like, th those precious five seconds. You might just play both minions. Sure, you want to play the zoo game. And go face at this point. If you kill the flame imp, then you can't kill the flame tongue, right? Big deal. <laughs> and you can't kill anything because, like, the, the three health minions don't die to the uh, the two two, unless Argus kills the flame tongue, and then you have no good trade in Trump's position. Yeah. Flame tongue numero numero dos. That'll do it. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just like going through all these sticky zoo minions and death rattles. Uh, so far, by turn five, he's gotten like seven damage so far. Yeah. And now he's out of cards, and Zeus those cards. It's not actually looking that bad. A lot of those, a lot of stuff like that. Flame Tongue helped 
so much. Without like without the flame time, we completely ran out of steam. But I would definitely not doom guard here. Voidwalker's too good against two two ones. Yeah, I think it's hard to not take the trade, and you're forcing worst case scenario for the shaman into using his hero power, which yeah. means if there's something like a doom hammer. I mean, uh, I mean, he'd play it here anyway. Most <coughs> of the time. What's the flame imperial? Uh, I definitely like this better. I I wouldn't actually be too surprised if he discarded it. Like yeah, he doesn't even play a flame. Imp, although uh, I mean, I I might consider not playing flame. Imp just if you because get a one drop, I, I think if you get a one drop, you don't play flame. Imp. Even if I do, I think I'm too scared. Mm. I'm really worried about flame. Imp. Like at oh, 17 health, this is unreal. That's sick. Shocky just saying, "Yep, I'll shrug and take that one. Get myself a four four or two hundred a five seven. Lose the flame imp, don't take damage, and uh, all right, Chalky, you win. Maybe not. Maybe Trump's got too lucky. Uh, ooh, okay, ping face. No, you... well, the question is, do you think you can win if you race? Like, does killing this two one help you in the race enough? Yeah, killing two one definitely helps you in the race. But uh, do you he's win even it, considering right? lava burst. I guess you probably can't lava burst the four four. No, you'd have to. I think if you love, if you do anything here, it's gonna be ping two one and keep the lava burst for face. Um, and if you do it now, you can also get doom hammer and still do it. You have the option of lava bursting the five six next turn, depending on what your draw is. And if he life taps, he's putting himself even closer. Hmm. I think because you're of nine damage on board and uh, the tapped. card didn't like yeah didn't go for like if he is lava burst, I mean it tap. But at this point, since like your most important resource is actually. Not really card range, but time. Because yeah. your minions are being danger for free. So I actually probably not tap and just try to have high life. Uh, <clears throat> well, there must be a charge minion in there, right? <laughs> there must be a charge minion. Yeah. So for, for all it doesn't do right now, this flame tongue may do a lot later. I uh, think it's just too slow at this point. You you need the Doom Hammer this turn, dude. 15 before you die. Leroy Jenkins is a surprising amount of damage with this, though. So if you love a burst now and you pick up Leroy off the top, you deal eight. Not quite enough to live and win. Fourteen. Yeah, I mean if if Chalky doesn't tap, even Leroy doesn't. You might have to love a burst this. Then yeah. it's the only way you. Uh... I mean that's a lot of damage lost, but Doom Hammer at any point is very dangerous. So I definitely implosion my creeper here. Yeah. Just to get more damage. I like it. I don't think there's going to be elemental destruction tech in that deck. It's been seen before, but not of recent memory. That doesn't even really matter that much. Uh, the bolt. Oh man. So you do have the option for the doomsayer. <laughs> I think at this point it's like it, it's yeah, back to this to, again, you right? You back to this. You can't talk negative damage. If you do it, and so now. No, no, this, is, no. this is all, all, all of these games are coming down to always the uh, YOLO kill trainer for Doomsday. Yeah. So in, in the words of Purple, um, his problem with the metagame is that implosioning a shredder is a viable play. Mm -hmm. This is, however, a tiny bit more all-in. I wonder though if um, there's any way Trump can... like if he, Let's assume right he picks up Ancestral Knowledge mm -hmm. into... Uh, a Lamborghini into a, like elemental destruction. Well, I guess. Well, I mean, technically, if you just he gets Reno here to thirty, and then uh... <laughs> Reno, yeah, we've seen <laughs> we've seen no do with the Reno. This is the right deck. I um, mean, you know, if it, if, it works, <laughs> if it works, it works, right? Um, Reno into like into ancestral knowledge into elemental destruction lava chop. I love it. I want to see that day like th happening. This needs to happen. Yeah. Somebody needs to do it. Um, maybe you. I don't know. One day, one day. I, I believe in one it. One day when I have time to play a million games. Yeah. I'll, no, I'll make an aggro deck. Like, all aggro and then, like, five control. There was a Zoo Reno that kind of, like, sparked in popularity. Mm -hmm. A Zoo, uh, oh, there was a Reno Secret Pally too. It kind of sparked up out of nowhere, and it was a little bit uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, weird, I've seen it. I've seen it. It was fun to watch. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. We'll be taking a short break, and we'll be back with the next match. That was relatively quick. A lot of aggro decks being played since Lepronome, Abusive Sergeant. A lot of the very good cards there. You know, don't have matching stats. Uh, well, they happen to be very aggressive yeah. for the most part. I think this is uh, this is the format that's most close to constructed. I'd say out of all the deck building challenges we had so far, Priest gets to play. Yeah. Aggro decks get to play. The only one that kind of gets punished is uh, Druid. Druid is probably the only class right. because they're Druid the Claw and, and Ancient and of War. Ancient, of war, and ancient yeah. of war. It's very hard to play combo with no cycle. It's tough. Yeah, life life is difficult when yeah. you're a Druid.
<laughs> Who am I kidding? We'll be back after the break, guys. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm gonna hold this one. Yeah, what? Just hold his legs now. What? Yeah, what? 